Hi everyone, Greeno here and welcome to another video here on my Greeno Eats channel. Now today I'm going to be cooking something which I think is probably about the quickest home cooked meal I can possibly make, well apart from maybe an omelette. <laughs> what I'm going to be doing is a bit of a kind of a fake away if you like, it's going to be a Chinese beef curry, the kind of thing you would get from your local Chinese takeaway. And to do that I'm going to be using this. So this is Goldfish brand Chinese curry sauce. Now this I picked up from my local Chinese supermarket, but I do think you can get this in normal supermarkets and certainly places like Home Bargains and B&M, those kind of places sometimes have this kind of thing on the shelf. So what this is, if you take a look inside here, is a paste, kind of a solid paste. You can see I've already had a bit of a go at it. Um, all you have to do is mix this with boiling water, give it a bit of a stir, a whisk up, and it thickens into a lovely Chinese style curry sauce. So to go with that, I'm gonna have some onion, the beef, which is just some leftover roast beef I had in the fridge from a, a little joint I made the other day, and some peas, because for some reason Chinese curries always have peas in, right? So I reckon this whole thing can be done in about five minutes. I've got a pouch of microwavable rice, that's gonna take about two minutes. I've got a wok at the ready on the stove, so let's get into it and take a look. So here we go folks, here are those ingredients I mentioned. There is the roast beef. So I basically just sliced it and then cut it into strips. So it's a bit like the beef you get in your Chinese takeaway. We've got a sort of small to medium sized onion, which I've just quartered, then cut in half again and peeled the individual bits off. Some frozen peas. We have the curry sauce here and that microwave rice. Now I've only got basmati rice, I thought I had an egg fried rice pouch in the cupboard, but apparently not. Maybe that's been snaffled at some point by the teenager. But that's all I need to cook up this delicious sounding dinner. So like I say, I reckon this is going to take five minutes tops. So let's get into it. Right then folks, so there it is in all its glory. And do you know what? It did take less than five minutes. Now I didn't put a stopwatch on it or anything, but I did glance at the clock on my oven as I tipped the oil into the pan. Four minutes after that was when I put this into the bowl. Give or take obviously, there's no seconds on there, but it was definitely less than five minutes, that's for sure. And there we have a lovely steaming hot bowl of Chinese beef curry. Let's get through to the dining room and give it a taste. So it's time for that all important taste test moment. Here it is. It smells good. It's got that kind of really sharp Chinese curry flavour, or smell at least anyway. <laughs> we'll tell you how the flavour is in a minute. 
So the reason I cook this so quickly as well, the onion, I didn't really want to cook it, cook it. You know when you get the curry from the Chinese and the onion's always got that bit of bite to it still? Not like you'd get from the curry house curry, for example. So I still wanted to get that little bit of bite. So that's why I kind of cooked it pretty quickly in the wok so that we still got that little bit of crunch in the onion. With that, still it's cooked, but just a little bit of bite to it. So here we go. Mmm. That is delicious. <laughs> so it's not a crazy spice to it, not crazy heat. But again, you don't tend to get that with Chinese curries. Um, the beef is nice and tender. Like I say, it's beef I cooked in a beef joint that I cooked kind of medium rare. Still very, very pink in the middle. So that's still nice and tender. I've only just kind of flash fried it now as well, so that's good. The onion still got that bite. It's cooked, it's taken the sharp edge from the taste of the onion, but it's still a more pronounced oniony taste than you would get from more cooked onion, you know? The peas, I said they were frozen when I put them in, and they've only been cooked for about three minutes. So they're, they're cooked through, but still have got a lovely bite to them. Mmm. Like I say, this curry sauce is fab. We all know that Chinese curry sauce flavour. It's almost kind of acidic in a way. It's quite a harsh spicing, but not overpowering. Mm. And it's so easy to make with that paste. Normally what I do with that is I'm making it as a a sauce almost like a dip for things with chips and whatever. So I hadn't even thought about using it to make a, a proper curry like this. But then uh, inspiration took me. <laughs> Finding a way to use up some leftovers. A little light bulb appeared over my head. thought I can use that. And here we are. Mm. I tell you what. For something that is so quick and easy to make. This is an absolutely delicious dinner. You know what, I have to say, I am really enjoying this. And the great thing about it, like I've used up some leftover beef in the fridge, but there's no reason that you couldn't use up, like if you'd had a roast chicken, some leftover chicken from that, maybe some pork, even if you've got a bag of prawns in the fridge or something like that. So simple and easy. I mean, you could feed a family of four <laughs> next to no time at all. A couple of bags of that rice in the microwave, some of this sauce, whatever protein you want to put into it you could even just use veg if you wanted to just stir fry that up quickly add the curry sauce it's an absolute winner so what can i say about that that i haven't already said to be honest <laughs> it was delicious it really really was and it's a very very cost effective way of feeding a family if you want to do it that way that pot of curry sauce or curry paste that i had i reckon i probably used Oh, I don't know, maybe a twelfth of the packet, something like that, less possibly, to make this uh, curry sauce. So, I mean, if you were to extrapolate that from the fact I paid probably about £2, I think, for that little pot of paste. Um, so you can probably make that curry, the actual sauce bit of it, for somewhere around 12 15 p a portion. All you then have is the cost of the protein and vegetables, whatever you want to put into it, if you've got leftovers. That's, an, that's nothing at all, is it, really? We've all got an onion kicking around. We've all got frozen peas. It's dead simple. The microwave rice, you can pick that up for between 40p and a pound per pouch, depending on where you shop. Or maybe you're going to go for an own brand or a known brand like Uncle Ben's. 
There's no reason you cannot feed a family of four very, very cheaply here. And of course, the other thing to take into account, energy costs. I've used one hob and the microwave to make that dinner. That's it. No washing up apart from one wok. <laughs> Perfect. So it's, uh, it's cheap. It's cheap on energy, saves on washing up, and it's damn tasty. What is not to like? I highly, highly recommend you get out, buy that goldfish curry paste for yourself, and give it a try. Just whatever you got in the fridge, throw it in there. It's fine. <laughs> right then, folks. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Uh, <laughs> I've certainly enjoyed eating what I created. And <laughs> like I've said, I can't sing its praises highly enough. It's a winner all round. I hope you agree. Well, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget, you can click a little thumbs up. It really does help with the channel. And if you're new around here, don't forget to click the subscribe button and ding your little bell for notifications and you won't miss anything else that comes up on the channel. That's going to be it from me for now. But if you enjoyed this, maybe you'll enjoy a video like this too.